Hi everyone, we are playing Sync Psychobiotics up against Noise. We're playing Code Marvelous. And this hand is a keeper. Although having uh, having Astro in the opening hand is probably much better than that than this, so we'll um you know, I don't know if we actually want to put this on R&D right now. Let's put this out and see if he'll bite on it. Probably won't. Okay. He's got no, mo no money, no cards in hand. Uh, so we'll put this in a new remote, we'll draw, uh, and we'll get some money. Seems good. So at the risk of getting something parasited, which is probably going to happen, I want to keep this in hand because it's very likely that I'll be able to sneak something out with it. Um, well, it's not very likely, but somewhat likely. Let's see what he's got. Parasite? Oh, okay. Yeah, all good. Yeah, trace four. He couldn't couldn't beat it. No parasite. See, we, oh, there's parasite. It was in hand. <laughs> Is he gonna go trash Jackson? No. Okay. There's a cat. Um. Let's draw. There's mid seasons. Let's put this over HQ. And let's put this over. What have we hit here? Anything? No, there's a Jackson in there. Um, okay, so we have resist over RD. It's not where we want it, but, you know, you take what you can get. The cool thing about this deck is that it forces noise to go so fast that he's often too poor to do anything. Um, that's really good. Uh, let's sweeps. Do we put out the cat? We don't have anything to, to actually hit with it. Um, Gutenberg over R&D. And we will toss. Here's team. Oh man, that's unfortunate. There's an Astro in there. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to rescue the Astro. Lame. Astro Jackson. Data Raven? Money? That's a good question. It's either money or Raven. Um I think we probably want the Data Raven here. I think Data Raven is better. Yeah. So, I just want agenda points. Taking the tag is incorrect, because then I can just fast track an Astro. Alright. So. Oh, yep. Okay. So we have a little hiatus here. Uh, I'm going to Sure, you shuffle R and D. Uh, sure. I think it does shuffle it automatically now. Yeah, it does shuffle automatically. Um. So. The goal here is we won't really want to mid season sim, so we could just put out cat. Um. We really do want to find... So what has he got in here? There's no Corroder yet, so it's very likely we'll be able to... Not very likely, but super... There's a chance. There's a chance that we can probably sneak out an Astro if we had one, or a food. Um, I 
think that actually might be the play here. Interesting. Yeah, because then he'll have to find exactly either Faust and five cards. Is that right? One, two, three. Oh, just four cards. So you can get him with four cards. Hmm. Faust and four cards seems more doable. Hmm. And is he going to run here? He's got Lamprey. Just thinking about our, our next uh, couple turns here. Um, yeah, I, I think I might put out a wraparound just on its own behind something. I mean, in front of something. Get rid of this news team. We want to dump this card, actually. Hmm. R and D seems pretty good right now. This is vulnerable to David. This is vulnerable to Parasite. This is vulnerable to Parasite. Uh, we are gonna need to get a Raven or just another Gutenberg. I just find like Gutenberg is really good against Noise because finding Mimic is generally hard um, for them. They have one, maybe two in the deck. Um, it also costs two cards with with a uh, Faust, so um, it can be a problem. So he's very wise to not take the tags here because I would just fast advance. Um, well, actually I wouldn't be able to fast advance this turn, but. I guess I could mid seasons if he hits this. Yeah, there's a lot of options now. Mid seasons is very strong in our hand. We do not want to lose it. So, yeah, we might actually just wrap around here. Hmm. We might just force him to take the food yeah so I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap around the next turn food install uh, advance advance if he goes for it we mid-seasons him if he doesn't go for it we have three points uh, and we're much more likely to win okay okay cool so yeah we're going to do that that's our plan so new remote uh, let's see. Do we want to go for it now? Let's put that there now. Is Aesop's <laughs> draw card? All right. So we'll see if he bites. Um, so there's a couple things we can do. We can just let him have it, uh, mid-season him, and then install Psycho. Uh, or we could actually try to score it. I think we're going to try to score it. Let's make him actually put something down. If he... Okay, so if he doesn't, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to, so he probably has a David. He, he might ha very well have a David um, in hand. Let's do that, gain a credit, and let's toss this in the bin. It's food. Do you have exactly David or exactly Corroder? Uh, 
Peddler. Did he find it? Uh, yeah. So looks like he did find it. He's got David. Yep. It's pretty good. All right. So he gets one point. And he's gonna get mid seasoned. That's fine. That's good. Boom. Uh, and we want exactly three credits left. Seven. So we wanna add four. Or we wanna add three. We just add three. So we can have enough to res one of these things. Two oh this guy? Let's see. Five. Yeah, let's do four, six, five. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So he might actually pay. Now he's just going to take eight. Okay, that's fine with me. And we're just going to uh, new remote. Psycho three. Cool. So just the QPT or QPM rather in here, uh, he can't score it. So if he runs here, he purges viruses and gives us a point, which is awesome. Um, I think this deck is just so crazy good. I love it. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty tricky. I like the inclusion of the one cyber decks. Um, I would think about going up to two if my uh, agenda density or my ice density was the solo already. I have thirteen ice. I hit four, and he has hit one. Um, there's a really good chance that against noise, you get all of your ice milled and you just lose on HQ and R&D. So that's not something I really want to have happen. Pretty much only need like one or two ice <clears throat> ice for the game. Uh, Wraparound now is completely nullified because of this. So it's possible that he will, well, he'll probably keep it out because he probably figures I have a Gutenberg, but he's got eight tags. I just won't even res this now. I'll just res this thing. And going here is I lose a credit, and he gets to try to steal my QPM. Okay. Lots and lots of mills. It's pretty good. Boop. Hit tax. Come on, give me a kitty cat. Oh, fast track, okay. All right, so we have money now, but we're just going to purge. Yep, there's absolutely no reason to uh, tempt fate with his uh, lampreys. I have one credit exactly, you can still resist her. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Okay. So did he hit anything? He's going to be very sad. All this stuff is getting purged, and I'm getting a point. <laughs> yep. That's the way it works. Okay, so... Yep. So we got another break. Sorry, guys, for the breaks. Um, that's no big deal. Uh, he told me that he was uh, doing some stuff at, on his end, so he might kind of be in and out of the game. Um, but just that's what I like. Think about this here. So he scored a three pointer, effectively a three pointer. That is two points, but he's taken a news team, so it's actually worth one point. That's that's insane. Um, it seems seems like this style of deck is 
heavily in favor of the corp. Like I've scored one Astro. I think I'm probably like um, a 70% chance to win the game now. If I score the second one, I think I'm just, he's a dog to win the game. So I think it, at this point, it's um, it's uh, my game to lose. So what I, I'm thinking about doing, he's got four credits, so he could imp run, <clears throat> which would be kind of a pain. I am going to put Jackson out. I'm considering fast tracking for Astro. Um, I've been thinking about, like, if I just Jackson draw, I only have 17 uh, cards left in the deck, so I really need to be careful about what I'm doing. I need to be careful that I don't overdraw. Um, so it might just be best. Um... Hmm, that's tricky. I might want one more end there on ice here somewhere. Maybe instead of a pop-up window. Resistors are pretty good, but they get parasited. Um, maybe instead of a resistor, I just play... I don't know. Okay, we've got a bunch of spectators thinking about joining and thinking about leaving. Um... Yeah, I'm not exactly exactly sure what I should be doing there right now. What if I need some more ice in this deck? Mm -hmm. Eli could be a good choice. <clears throat> I think maybe Eli is a good choice here, just for how taxing it is, and how, how cheap it is to res. And I've got, a, you know, a couple of influence dumped into stuff I don't necessarily need. Um, green level. Um, Green level is actually pretty good in this deck because it does what I want to do, gets me money, and draws me cards, which is cool. Uh, I I only am playing one though. I have two biotics and one celebrity gift. The gift is always good to have. So, um, big question for me is, can he sustain? So, I'm probably gonna credit, blow this up. I mean that's that's our play here clearly right we're gonna we're gonna credit blow base ups um i don't know how to win in this meta with this uh gotta practice uh i don't know um we can test different things out i think it's winnable I do think it's winnable. Uh, gain credit, <coughs> trash, gain credit. I guess I could have flipped, trashed, flipped. Oh. That would have been the same. sort of silly okay it's like David and Parasite are the things that this deck hates Yeah, I think this is one of the strongest IDs to come ar um, around in a long while. Just the fact that you have all this in-faction um, 
uh, card draw and money. Very, very cheap ice. Very cheap ice. Like, Resistor is easily worth its price. Like, it's probably the best barrier they printed in a long time. It does die to Parasite, but now it's strength 8. Like, a single Resistor is strength 8. So, like, a zero-cost 8-strength barrier, Trace 4. Like, what? Who, who thinks that's a good idea? Anyway, but, uh, so we have an 8-strength. Oh, I'm getting actual work hang out. Yeah, no problem. Take time. Yeah, we might have a little bit of a, a downtime here, guys. So, um, you can, I'll, I'll post when to skip ahead in the, um, in the comments or in the section below. We can take a look at the deck. Sink. So, our ice makeup is pretty standard, I think, for this kind of thing. I've, I've seen a lot of builds that run very similar lists of ice, uh, or um, types of ice. So we're playing just one wraparound. Um, you just need a little bit of ender on ice, but resistor is really your best ender on ice when you're when the opponent's tagged is insane. Pop up window is good because it's pop up window. It's money, um, and it's it's just annoying. It draws parasites. Um, Gutenberg is amazing. It's probably the best tagging ice besides Data Raven. It might just be the best tagging ice because they can't they don't have the option of jacking out when they encounter and also cost two. So like our, our uh, ice costs max four, which is crazy. Um, let's see if he's back. Uh, three news teams, because news team makes this deck stupid, and I think this is the dumbest card they printed in a long time, but that's fine, whatever. Three Jacksons, three Quantums, three Global Foods, three Astros. So we just have nine agendas. We have 18 points but we effectively have 15 because of global food for the runner. Uh, and we have 12 because of quantum predictive model when they're tagged. So when the runner is tagged, it's almost hopeless. Like they have to, they have to score no news teams. They have to score all the, quant the global food initiatives and uh, one Astro or like all the Astros and one global food. So at the moment, if we take a look at the game we're in, oh, no, I just a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna res that. Uh, so you can David it. <laughs> yeah, you can David it. That's kind of funny. Yep. Does he get an Astro? No? He's going he's gonna to trash that. Oh, I wanted that. Aw. I guess that is a big deal, because David can get through an 8-strength barrier now. Aw, I wanted that. That's a bummer. Okay. Um, so what do we do here? Are we just going to trash his stuff? Not let him draw? Yeah. Trash. And trash. Actually, I don't want to trash. Let's, uh, oops. I think it's eight a click. Um, eight a click. Uh, let's see. Flip trash. to to trash for whatever reason uh, it's actually my fault but uh, yeah we're just gonna gain a credit um, yeah we're good uh, we are going to toss this because we don't care about that anymore um, there's some news teams in there yeah we'll send the turn So there's one more Astro, I'm going to fast track for it, 
Um, I would like to find my other psycho. Or are they all in here? There's one, two. Yeah, they're all in here. Okay, I'm going to Jack's next turn then. Gutenberg, lost to Gutenberg. Okay. He's got three agenda points. I think this is definitely winnable for noise. He's I've got 12 cards left in the deck. Um, however, two of those are, or one of those are, uh, is it Jackson? One of them's lost, one of them's in my hand, so. There's an Aesop's. Um, it's gonna trash. Um, I don't care about this at all, because it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Uh, then we're going to flip and let's see. We'll gain a buck. I'll toss Gutenberg. As good as it is, he's got eight tags. Deja vu for Lamprey. Cash. Cash Lamprey. Cash Parasite. Okay. Oh, Dave Sucker. Okay. Uh, going back to the deck, um, our operations are. Two biotics, one celebrity gift, one fast track, one green level, three hedge, one mid seasons, two psycho, one restructure, and three sweeps week. Uh, and we have a cyberdex in our upgrades. Uh, we don't have any other upgrades. I've seen some lists running Ash, and I think that's pretty good. Um, I think just having the extra biotics when you need to score, like say you have um, exactly an Astro scored, which actually happens often, um, and you have a food in hand. Uh, and they're not tagged. You can biotic labor uh, with one with an unadvanced on the board and score, which is kind of good. Um, it doesn't always happen, but it's a nice extra out just in case you need it. You can also, for whatever reason, double biotic, install, quadruple advance astro, which is like twelve credits. <laughs> but it doesn't happen very often. But you can do it. Um, so it looks like our stuff's getting milled. We just lost a food. It's bad. Um, we really want to score one more point. We want to score one more point, and then we want to score our food with Psycho. Um, Purging here is not a bad idea. We have nine cards left. Oh, look at that. Well. Hmm. Eight cards left in the deck. This is interesting. We've got our Astro. We probably should just score it. Um, take the hit for the turn. There's one, two, there's one more food in here, um, which we want. There's quantum predictive models here, but he never has to run. Um, I think we want. Hmm. definitely want some money too. I think we could gifts for, we could draw gifts. It's not good. Install, he doesn't have a David. His David's in here. How many clone chips? One. So we might have a clone chip. Um, I say we install this. Uh, purging is better though, right?
Uh, I think. I think we just have to score this. Yeah, I, I, I don't see any other option, really. I mean, we just want to get it out of hand. Um, next turn, if he runs here, he probably should be running here. He probably should be running my HQ. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of money, but he wants to imp stuff out of my hand because uh, the way this deck works is it just profits off of uh, you not running HQ, thinking that there's news teams and stuff like that. Um, Okay. Start turn. So we're six cards left in the deck. There's some money. Uh, so we're just short of money. So we're going to put this out. Server three. Going to gain two bucks. Three bucks. Let's gain three bucks. Let's end the turn. So he doesn't have to run here because there's nothing there. Um. I guess he could think I have Psycho. He doesn't know, because one of the Psychos is... What's going on here? He's running Archives. Um, yeah, we're going to rescue this. We're going to get a point. And... Then he's going to run here and try to steal it. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. So, boom. I actually want him to hit this, so we're going to put Psycho, Psycho, Psycho Sweeps. Psycho, Psycho. Okay, so he's going to take two tags because he's floating. He's giving me a point, and he's purging. I'm purging. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Uh, we'll see what we get. Yep. Uh, we don't have any way to FA that. No FA yet. I guess I can credit, credit, dude. <laughs> I should have scored the... Oh, I'm dumb. Two, four, five, six. Yeah, we could have won that turn. Could we have? Oh, no, we couldn't have. We, we couldn't... We can't fast advance a 1-3 from hand. Uh, there's the cat. <laughs> it was the next card. No. No. Okay. Start turn. Um, I think we just draw for Psycho. Okay, we've got food. Let's put Jackson down. And we have all of our, the last, rest of our agendas, and there's a cat in there. And I think we're going to HQ. Does he care about that? I mean, yeah, we'll put this over HQ. So three cards left in the deck. Uh, I have a Jackson on the board, so... We're just going to get back our Psycho and win next turn. That's the plan. As long as he doesn't hit our food. So he has to do guess. Is food an HQ or R&D? And we'll see what he does. I have exactly enough credits to res this and then fast advance this. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> what are we going to bounce with this? Let's think about that. Uh, that... I guess. Seems good. This doesn't actually do anything right now. It's pretty miserable. This would have been better as any in the Ren Ice. Enigma would have been amazing. Maybe I should put some Enigmas in here. Oh, I wanted that. Damn it. 
one click. Is he running? He's making me the point. All right. <laughs> cats. All right. So we won by scoring all three cats. <laughs> uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Those cats are nasty. Yep. So, I don't know. I think this uh, deck has a pretty decent matchup against uh, against Noise. Um, yeah, I think he's just kicking himself for, for running archives here. He, he probably should have been running HQ. Um, the big problem about this deck is that toward the end, it needs to Psycho to get the win, uh, especially if you're playing food. It's, you know, that's just it, the way it can win. Um, the only way, really. And uh, so the problem is, how do you score food without Psycho, and if you don't have a Psycho, you, they just sit in hand so he could run HQ a bunch of times. So, uh, we'll talk about it after this, but yeah. That's definitely that's definitely the play, I think. What? You can. Uh, let's talk about the matchup after. It's it's a hard matchup, but there are tricks. Yeah, cool. And cats come to the rescue. Thanks for watching.